Marcus. Charles. Smiling. And we're the Ice Cream Hands. Welcome to our rockumentary, Sweet in the Radio, Revisited. Rebooted. Rebooted. Visited. Rebooted. 20 years on. Relived. Reimagined. Re Resabered. Mm. Repackaged. Remade. Uh, my name is Charles. I write songs. <laughs> well, I'm Derek G. Smiley, and I'm the uh, the sticks man in the band, the drummer. I'm Marcus, lead guitarist of the Ice Cream Hands. My name's Douglas Lee Robertson. I play bass in the band and, and sing. Sometimes I've been known to sing my own songs, uh, but mostly I'm just, you know, the guys doing the, the ooh and the ahs. Where were we at? Well, we'd done the two, the two previous records, and and an EP. So anyway, so the we were we were just getting better, but I just felt as though we the songs were getting better, you know. It was all fun, you know. We were just enjoying it. And being in the studio, there's nothing kind of better. But this was just, you know, drums, bass, guitar, organ, backing vocals. There was nothing really fancy added on. So it was it was the sound of the band at the time. We were at the peak of our powers, you know, mm. as a live band, and that sort of really translated onto the recording. Um, the recording process was a little bit more live than what we've done previously. So to me, it's a, it's a lot rawer and a lot kind of rougher. It really felt like the band was, was on a real, a real rise. Um, you know, I know the guys were had been touring for years and had a couple of records already out, but that really felt like things were going to the next level. I used to joke and say, well, you know, it's obviously since I've joined, things have, you know, taken off. Good evening and welcome to the Ice Cream Hands Abroad. We, we went on Hey Hey It's Saturday like three times and they built purpose-built sets, you know, enormous expense. Um, for us to play this little song, you know, and then we had a couple of, you know, really good gigs in Austin, um, and then we finished it off with a with a show in New York. I, I was, yeah, you know, I, mean, I think we even did a Whitlam thing where we did 23 gigs in 21 days. So um, I, I'm I'm right up for that. Some of the other guys maybe not so much, but we all visited LA and we. Um... Caught up with Ward from the Liquor Giants and um, recorded a couple of tracks there at his place, which ended up being B-Sides, and did a couple of shows in LA and uh, got to New York and did a gig or two there and um, just hung out and did the sightseeing and out to all the bars and stuff. So yeah, a lot of a lot of fun in amongst a little bit of productive work. I think Dodgy worked out really well. That's a great rollicking song, I still love the sound of that and Smiley's drum, drumming on that I think is just one of the coolest things I've ever heard. Yeah, it's good to, to uh, get back with the guys and uh, relive uh, old times and old memories. But I'm just really lucky to still to be within a sort of community of, of people who still play music, who still want to play music, who aren't necessarily looking at it, you know, to make a million bucks. But, um, well, yeah, you know, uh, just, just a rock band with, um, you know, full geeky guys singing harmonies kind of thing. I listened to it the other day for the first time in quite a while and, you know, I thought, shit, it sounds good. It's a good record. It still sounds good. It, um, you know, it captures that time of the band in terms of who we were as musicians and people and singers and songwriters. Here we are and I get to hang out with these guys and we're all at this age where I think we appreciate the opportunity to get together and, and do it and uh, I want to put out you know I, I want to put out more records I want to I want to do more ice cream hands records which is which that's what I you know me I've always just been interested in the next song Make it.